Hello, welcome to Gray Matters, where issues of the brain and brain injury and its effects upon individuals, families, and society are important to us. I'm Eddie Reynolds, the Outreach Coordinator for the Brain Injury Alliance of Kentucky. We're here today to talk about the long-term effects of brain injury. For we realize that many times in brain injury that uh, the effects of it can linger for years. Those effects may be uh, devastating or they may be mild. Some of the most common effects that last a long time are the financial effects or the cost of the hospitalization and the rehabilitation, the loss of income and earning power, the increase of expenses uh, are very devastating to a family. So it takes families oftentimes many years to cope with the financial problems that come from brain injury. A lot of times though families have proven to be resilient and over time have been able to overcome even some of the greatest trials and tribulations. Often they've been able to adapt to the new person who has the brain injury to the changes. And through the right system of supports, they, you've been able to uh, live a, a good life, different than the one you had before the injury, but one that can be rewarding and fulfilling. Unfortunately, sometimes a brain injury can also have some longer term effects. Some things that can happen uh, with people with brain injury that uh, cause problems later on in life is development of Parkinson's disease or Alzheimer's. Uh, these degenerative diseases can be triggered uh, due to the brain injury and, and come back many years uh, in the future. Some people develop uh, aneurysms and problems they would not have had had they not had the brain injury. And then some people develop uh, their post-traumatic amnesia where their short-term memory uh, is severely challenged for years to come. Now, we would like to share this and there's some things you can do uh, to help uh, slow the progression of long-term problems and to make sure that the time that you have is spent productively. We uh, can't guarantee that doing these things uh, will add years to your life, but we do believe they will add life to your years. The first thing you want to do is you want to uh, work with your doctor. Become friends with your doctor. Be sure that you take your medication the way he tells you. If you're having an unexpected side effect, call your doctor immediately. Speak to your nurse, speak to his nurse, or speak to a pharmacist. And make sure that you're sharing with them the side effects that you're having and that you're doing your best to work with the doctor and to take your medication as he prescribes. And the next thing that you can do is to follow a healthy lifestyle. Lifestyle choices can literally add life to our years as we go through. Some of the things that you will want to do uh, to uh, either avoid or to minimize the long-term effects of brain injury are you want to be sure that you take time to exercise, get out daily. That moving of that oxygen and that blood to the brain will help nourish the brain cells. Make sure that you eat a healthy diet a diet that's high in salt and, and fat and calories, clogs up the, the blood flow to the brain, it can cause some long-term uh, issues. You also want to uh, avoid tobacco and alcohol as these have uh, effects on either the circulatory system or the brain's ability to function. Other things that you can do is you can always learn something new. Maybe it's learning uh, a new hobby. Maybe you want to take up photography or learn to play the guitar or you want to learn a new language. You can take courses through uh, our school system uh, to learn a new skill, to read a new book, to go out and meet new people. For as you do these things, you're able to build neural connections which will strengthen your brain and its functioning ability. See your doctor regularly and report any problems pro uh, promptly. And also you want to be sure uh, to learn from your doctor if there are any screenings, anything that might point out early signs of Alzheimer's or Parkinson's or any screenings that might catch any uh, aneurysm. And it's important to remember that in spite of the brain injury, 
it's possible to have a full and meaningful life. And the Brain Injury Alliance seeks to help people build those relationships, join those support groups, find those resources. Feel free to call us at any time. You can visit us on the web at www.biak.us or you can call us toll free at 1-800-592-1117. Until we meet again, we pray that good brain health and that gray matters will matter to you. Thank you.